Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and I'm having a look at Revoice Pro, which is a correction system that allows you to take vocals and realign them, whether that's spoken word. And I'm not going to do any stuff for post. I'll leave it for Mike. Mike's already made a video of this a few months ago, but we haven't really reviewed it. Mike did the video to sort of uh, give a demo of when it first came out, but I'm going to sort of try it and see uh, how easy it is and how effective it is as well uh, for a track. So very common that we want to get vocals and we want to double them up. Now, there's two options. We either want to do it when we're singing or if you're rapping, uh, that's another one where you want to layer them up in hip hop and R&B and rap particularly. And pop in as well will really start to stack the sound, the sound of a voice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk, I've got two things, I've just thrown down two very basic ideas. Now straight away, I am not a rapper, so I've just put down some spoken word, uh, and those of you who are really keen rappers, uh, you will have a field day with this. But anyway, it's the best I can do, unless some of you want to come around and rap for me. Uh, but it's a long way to London, I think, for most of you. So here's the first one, which is a sung voice. And what you'd normally have is you'd have a, a voice down. So I've got uh, a, a piano. Do you remember we used to be so strong And now I can't understand how it went so wrong I've sang a second verse, verse, a second version in, sorry, second verse, second version, so I've put this one down as well. Do you remember we used to be so strong now I can't understand how it went so wrong. That's quite common. And then you normally stack those two and pan one left and pan one right. You could do it like this. So we could take that one there and that one there and have this. Do you remember we used to be so strong? And now I can't understand how it went so wrong. So I'm, I'm, I'm on quite hard at the end here. I'm... I'm singing longer than there. Long, so come, long. Off, come off late there. At the start, you can hear like a stutter of the voice. Do you rem In fact, we send to them again, you hear it even more apparently. Do you remember? Remember there. Remember, remember. So that's out. So what Revoice Pro does is pretty cool. It takes them and it automatically realigns the vocals. Very straightforward. And it, what it is, it's an audio suite plugin and then an external piece of software, but pretty, pretty straightforward to use. So the way it works is, I've got it here. So this is Revoice Pro, and I've got it ready for receiving what we're going to do. And so I come back to Pro Tools and I click on my first piece of audio and I go Audio Suite, Synchro Arts, Revoice Pro, and I select the track and I want to send it to Audio One over in the other software and I capture that and it's sent it over. Then I do that for the second one, Audio Two and I capture that. So if we go over to Revoice Pro now, we have the two bits of audio. We can play them as well. Do you remember we used to be so strong? Let's hear that again. Do you remember we used to be so strong? And so what we want to do is we select this first one and we go right mouse click, new APT. And uh, that's going to align the two tracks. So we say we want audio one to be our guide and audio two to be our dub and audio three to be the final output, the, the fix of this one, basically. So press A, OK. Then we hit the P button on our keyboard. Most of the time, the shortcuts are exactly the same shortcuts you use in Pro Tools. Uh, so we choose on our, our, our settings here now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to presets and go to factory presets. I'm going to go tight timing only. Or well, there's some presets already and they're just basically if I go there, you'll see it's just on the timing. It's very tight. And then we close that window again, press the R button, which renders it. We press the E button, and now it mutes the original, the second one, and plays the first two together. And now I can understand how it went so wrong. How cool is that? Now the best bit as well then is we just come back here to Pro Tools and we choose that bottom one and we and we choose the one we want to put it back into we press spot and it replaces the original audio. So in Pro Tools now we have a fix. Do you remember we used to be so strong? 
And now I can't understand how it went so wrong Do you remember we used to put a drum beat in with it? Do you remember we used to be so strong? And now I can't understand how it went so wrong. Now let me show you a second thing. Now I'm going to go to this bit here. All you rap fans, you're going to be mortified by what I've done here. And I've just put in this. Just this spoken word. I'll call it spoken word rather than rap because it's an insult to rap. But here we go. So here's a bit of spoken word. I've done it on purpose. It's quite fast. So let me play it to you. It went so wrong because we didn't do it right. We didn't do it right. Didn't do it right. 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 And let me just turn off next to which I've got on. It went so wrong because we didn't do it right. We didn't do it right. Didn't do it right. 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 And then without any guide, I've literally put it in again. So when I say no guide, I didn't hear the first one. Didn't have a click track. It went so wrong because we didn't do it right, we didn't do it right, didn't do it right, right, right. So let's hear those two together now. It went so wrong because we didn't do it right, we didn't do it right, didn't do it right, right, right. It went so wrong because we didn't do it. It's all over the place, absolutely all over the place. So let's try and see if we can fix that. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to save that. I'm going to go new and we're going to create a new one. So this one again, Audio Suite, Synchro Arts, Revoice Pro. That's going to go to one, capture. This one is going to go to two, capture. Here we are now. It went so wrong because we didn't do it right. We didn't do it right. Didn't do it right, right, right. So it went so wrong. Let's choose this one and we get new APT. I'm going to choose all the selected audio. Press OK. I'm going to go to the process. I'm going to go to the process and we're just going to really tighten it up. So I'm going to go factory presets, tight timing. There's no pitch, so we don't need to do pitch, and we'll render that, see what we get here. And let's have a listen to those two together now. Because we didn't do it right, we didn't do it right, didn't do it right, right, right. It went so wrong because we didn't do it right, we didn't do it right, didn't do it right, right, right. Let's just send them left and right and see what we've got now then. Let's take that one left, and this one right. It went so wrong because we didn't do it right, we didn't do it right, didn't do it right, right, right. Now what we could do then is even... so wrong because we didn't do even something cooler now. So we could come out of here. Just put this back into the center again for a second. And that one back into the center. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna double track instead. So I'm gonna create a new track, track, add audio track. And call it double one. So I'm gonna come back to this track up here. And if at any point you want, you can actually just delete the selected process. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to first do some alignments. So we're going to go new APT, audio one to audio three, and then we're going to go there. We're going to go P, and we're going to go to tight timing, that tightest timing and pitch. We're going to try this time, and we're going to then go R to render it. Do it right. We didn't do it right. Didn't do it right. 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 It went so wrong because we didn't do it right. We didn't do it right. Didn't do it right. 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 So that's really spot on now. Then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to double it up. So I'm going to go new doubler stereo output audio one to double one. Press OK. Now come down here. Then press P. Vocal moderate. I'm going to choose that and we press R. And now we have. The double of that as well. It went so wrong because we didn't do it right. We didn't do it right. Didn't do it right. 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 So we're gonna do one more as well. So we're gonna come here. I'm gonna get a new doubler pro stereo. New doubler stereo. Sorry, I need to create a new track first. Add audio track. So come to the fixed one we got, and we're gonna go to new doubler stereo output. Go audio three to audio track there. Should have named that P. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna just change this a bit more. We're gonna make that longer. A bit of randomness in it as well, a bit of shifting on the formats. So we're going to make it quite intense and we press R. So now we have a, the original and a double, the fix and a double. Let's have a listen to those. It went so wrong because we didn't do it right, we didn't do it right, didn't do it right, right, right. Now what we can then do is we can either spot them straight back to Pro Tools, we could spot this fix back to Pro Tools first. Like we did before, we can grab that one and we can go spot and now that's not 
it went so wrong because we didn't do it right, we didn't do it right, didn't do it right, right, right. And it sounds so close, it's almost, there's a little bit of phasiness going on there as well. But what we can also do as well within Revoice Pro is we could then save the entire audio that we've got there, file, export audio, and we could put it, let's say, I'm going to go onto my uh, documents folder and open that up. I'm going to go new folder. Revoice. Oh, don't type when you're doing videos. Revoice audio, create. And we save the, sele we s save the selected tracks. And we go audio one we want. And we want audio three. We want double and double. Now, if we close that, I'm going to save it. And I come here, I can actually now import some audio in. So I'll go File, Import, Audio, into my Documents folder. There's the audio, Add, Done, into a new track. And there it all is. It's come in as actually a multi-channel track now. And we can bring this all the way down here. We actually have to down mix that because I bought it in as a multi-channel. So I've got to go Avid. Down mix 5.1 stereo. It went so wrong because we didn't do it right. We didn't do it right. Didn't do it right. 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 It went so wrong because we didn't do it right. We didn't do it right. Didn't do it right. 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 So there we go. Revoice Pro. What do I think of it? Well, to be honest, it's a bit of a time saving piece of magic. It's one of those kind of things in your arsenal that I really think is well worth having if you're really keen on getting very, very tight pop R&B rap vocals. So download the demo and check it out. It's not cheap, but then again, it's utterly brilliant at what it does. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.